This is the Sakar Merli of the 22nd of October, 2024. Essence Sweet children, this knowledge that the Father teaches you has nothing to do with occult power. A magic mantra doesn't work for studying. Question Why were the deities said to be wise, whereas human beings are not? Answer Because the deities were full of all virtues, whereas human beings have no virtues. It is because the deities were wise that people worshipped them. Their batteries were charged, and this is why they are said to be worth a pound. When their batteries become discharged, they are only worth a penny, and they would be called senseless. Om Shanti The Father has explained to you children that this is a place of study, Pathshala. This is a study. You attain that status, deity, through this study. This should be considered to be a school or university. People come here from far away to study. What do they come here to study? They have that aim and objective in their intellects. We come here to study and the one teaching us is called the teacher. The versions of God is the Gita. There is nothing else. The Gita is the book of the one who teaches, but he doesn't actually read a book. He doesn't hold a Gita in his hand. These are the versions of God. Human beings cannot be called God. God is one, the highest on high. The incorporeal world, the subtle region and the corporeal world are the whole universe. The play is not performed in the incorporeal world or the subtle region. It is acted out here. The cycle of 84 births is also here. This is called the play of the cycle of 84. This is a predestined play. These matters have to be understood because you are receiving the directions of God, the highest on high. There is nothing else. Only the one is called the one with all powers, the world almighty authority. He himself explains the meaning of the word authority. People do not understand this because all of them are Tamo Pratan. This is called the Iron Age. It is not that it is the Iron Age for some and the Golden Age for some, and the Silver Age for others, no. Since it is now hell, human beings can't say that this is heaven for them just because they have a lot of wealth and property. That is not possible. This play is predestined. The Golden Age is now in the past. It cannot exist at this time. All of these matters have to be understood. The Father sits here and explains all of these things. It used to be their kingdom in the Golden Age. The people of Barrett of that time are called Golden Aged. Now they would surely be called Iron Aged. When they were Golden Aged, that was called Heaven. It isn't that Hell would also be called Heaven. People have their own dictates. When they have the wealth of happiness, they consider themselves to be in heaven. I have a lot of wealth, and so I am in heaven. However, reasoning says that that is not possible. This is hell. 
Even though someone may have one to two million, this world is diseased. The Golden Age is called the world that is free from disease. It is the same world. In the Golden Age, it is called the Yogi world, whereas in the Iron Age, it is called the Bogi world. The world of those who indulge in sensual pleasures. There they are yogi because there are no vices there. So this is a school and there is no question of having power. Would a teacher show his power? You have the aim and objective of becoming so and so. Through this study you change from human beings into deities. This is not a matter of a magic mantra or occult power. This is a school. Is there anything to do with occult power in a school? They study and become doctors or barristers. Lakshmi and Narayan too were human beings but they were pure. This is why they are called deities. You definitely do have to become pure. This is an impure old world. People think that it takes hundreds of thousands of years for the world to become old. Only after the Iron Age will the Golden Age come. You are now at the Confluence Age. No one knows about this Confluence Age. They have shown the Golden Age to be hundreds of thousands of years. The Father comes and explains these things. He is called the Supreme Soul. The Father of Souls is called Baba. He doesn't have any other name. Baba's name is Shiva. People also go to Shiva temples. Only the Supreme Soul, Shiva, is called the Incorporeal One. He doesn't have a human body. You souls come here to play your parts, and this is why you receive human bodies. He is Shiva, and you are Saligrams. People worship Shiva and the Saligrams because they have been and gone in their living form. They must have done something before they departed. That is why they are well known and worshipped. No one knows about their previous birth. They are praised in this birth. People worship the deities. In this birth, many have become leaders too. Stamps are produced of the very good sages and holy men who have been and gone to make them famous. Whose name would be remembered as the greatest here? Who is the greatest of all here? It is God alone who is the highest on high. He is the incorporeal and his praise is completely separate. The praise of the deities is separate from that of human beings. Human beings cannot be called deities. Deities had all the virtues. Lakshmi and Narayan have been and gone. They were the pure masters of the world and they are worshipped because pure ones are worthy of worship. Those who are impure cannot be said to be worthy of worship. Impure ones always worship pure ones. When a Kumari is pure, she is worshipped, but when she becomes impure, she has to bow down at everyone's feet. At this time, all are impure, whereas everyone in the Golden Age was pure. That was a pure world, and the Iron Age is an impure world. This is why they call out to the Purifier Father. They do not call out to him when they are pure. 
The father himself says, No one remembers me at the time of happiness. This refers to Barrett alone. The father only comes in Barrett. Barrett has become impure at this time. It is Barrett that was pure. If you want to see the pure deities, you can go to the temples and see them there. All of the deities were pure, and the heads, that is the main ones, of them are shown in the temples. In the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan, all were pure. As were the king and queen, so the subjects. At this time all are impure. Everyone continues to call out, O purifier, come. Sannyasis would never accept Sri Krishna to be God or Brahm. They believe God to be incorporeal. His image is worshipped as that of the incorporeal. His accurate name is Shiva. When new souls come here and adopt bodies, you are given names. Souls are imperishable, whereas bodies are perishable. Souls shed bodies and take others. There have to be 84 births. There cannot be 8.4 million births. The father explains... This world was new and righteous in the Golden Age, and this same world then became unrighteous. That is a land of truth, where everyone speaks the truth. Barrett is called a land of truth. This land of falsehood then becomes a land of truth. Only the true Father comes and creates that land of truth. He is called the true Emperor, the truth. This is a land of falsehood. Whatever people say is false. Deities have sensible intellects and human beings worship them. It is said wise and senseless. The Father tells you who makes you wise and who then makes you senseless. It is the Father who makes you wise and full of all virtues. He himself comes and gives you his own introduction. Just as you are souls and you adopt bodies here to play your parts, so I too enter this one just once. You know that he is the only one. He alone is called the Almighty Authority. No human being can be called the Almighty Authority. Even Lakshmi and Narayan cannot be called that because there is also the one who gives them power. Impure human beings cannot have power. The power that souls have gradually becomes degraded. That is, the Satopratan power that souls had then became Tamopratan power. Similarly, a motor car comes to a standstill when there is no petrol in it. This battery does not become discharged again and again. It has been given its full time. At the end of the Iron Age, the battery becomes cold. The Satopratan masters of the world lost their power because they became Tamopratan. They had no power left. They became worth not a penny. When it was the deity religion in Barrett, they were worth a pound. It is said... Religion is might. There is power in the deity religion. They were the masters of the world. What power did they have? They didn't have the power to fight, etc. They received power from the Father, the Almighty Authority. What is power? 
the father explains, Sweetest children, you souls were Satra Pritan and are now Tamo Pritan. Instead of being the masters of the world, you have become the slaves of the world. The father explains, Ravan, the five vices, snatched away all of your strength. This is why the people of Barrett have become poverty-stricken. Do not think that scientists have a lot of power. That is not power. This is spiritual power that you receive by having yoga with the almighty authority father. It is as though a war is taking place between science and silence at this time. You go into silence and you receive power through that. By receiving the power of silence, you go to the world of science. No. By receiving the power of silence, you go to the world of silence. You remember the Father and you detach yourselves from your bodies. On the path of devotion, you beat your heads a great deal in order to go to God. However, because of calling him omnipresent, you couldn't find the path. You became Tamo Pratan. So this is a study. A study cannot be called power. The father says, first of all, become pure and then understand the knowledge of how the world cycle turns. The Father alone is knowledgeful. There is no question of power in that. Children do not know how the world cycle turns. You actors are playing your parts. This is an unlimited drama. Previously, when people used to perform their parts in a drama, the actors could be changed. However, now they make films. It is easy for the father to explain using the example of a film. Those are little films and this is the big one. In a play, a worldly drama, the actors can be changed. This drama is eternal and once something has been shot, it cannot be changed. This whole world is an unlimited film. There is no question of power. Amber is called Shakti, but she still has a name. Why is she called Amber? What did she do when she was here? You now understand that Amber and Lakshmi are the highest on high. Amber then becomes Lakshmi. Only you children understand this. You become knowledgeful and you are also taught purity. That purity continues for half a cycle. The father then comes and shows you the path of purity. People call out to him at this time to come and show them the path and also to become the guide. He is the Supreme Soul. Souls become supreme by studying with the Supreme. Someone who is pure is called Supreme. You are now impure. The Father is ever pure. There is a difference. Only when the One who is ever pure comes here does he give you your inheritance and teach you? He enters this one and he himself tells you that he is your father. I definitely need a chariot. How else would the soul speak? The chariot is also well known. The lucky chariot is remembered. So the lucky chariot is a human being. It is not a question of a horse chariot. 
a human chariot is needed so that he can sit in it and explain to human beings. They have then shown a horse chariot. This human being is called the lucky chariot. Here some animals are looked after so well, even human beings are not cared for as much. People love their dogs so much. They even love horses and cows. They have dog exhibitions. None of that would exist there. Would Lakshmi and Narayan look after dogs? You children now know that all human beings at this time have Tamopratan intellects and that they have to be made Satopratan. There, horses are not such that people would have to serve them. The father explains, Look what your condition has become. Ravan has made your condition like that. He is your enemy. However, you don't know when this enemy takes birth. You don't know about the birth of Shiva or even about the birth of Ravan. The father tells you that Ravan comes at the end of the Silver Age and the beginning of the Copper Age. Why has he been shown with ten heads? Why do people burn his effigy every year? No one knows that. You are now studying to change from human beings into deities. Those who don't study cannot become deities. They will then come when the kingdom of Ravan begins. You now know that you belong to the deity religion and that that sapling is now being planted. The father says, I come every five thousand years and teach you in this way. At this time, the tree of the whole world has become old. When it was new, there was just the one deity religion, and then they gradually came down. The father is telling you the account of 84 births because he is knowledgeful. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bapdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dana 1. Accumulate the power of silence. You have to go to the world of silence with the power of silence. Take power by having remembrance of the Father and become a master. Free yourself from slavery. 2. By studying with the Supreme, you souls become supreme. Only follow the path of purity. Become pure and make others pure. Become a guide. Blessing May you be a special soul who has the knowledge of Alpha, God and follows the original religion of purity. Babdada is pleased to see that each of his children is a special soul, whether he is old, uneducated, infant, a youth or a householder, compared to the world he is special. In the world those may be great politicians, actors and scientists. But if they do not know God, what do they know? Your intellect has faith and you say with spiritual intoxication that they can continue searching but that you have attained him. 
While living in your household, you have adopted the original religion of purity, and so you have become a pure soul, a special soul. Slogan Someone who remains constantly happy-hearted is loved by himself and by everyone else. Om Shanti